and I am here about to bring you a video, a movie review. Uh, 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 uh. So, I went to the movies yesterday and that's why you guys didn't get a video for Face Mask Friday. Because early in the day I ran some errands and then later that night I went to the movies. And when I came home, honey, I was beat. I was beat something serious. So, I figured i just give you a video today. And I know it's kind of late in the day because I'm still tired. You ever do a whole bunch of running one day and then you come home and you're fucking exhausted? Like, ugh. I'm so tired. I'm so fucking tired. Anywho, let me, whoop, there we go. I was looking a little dark. But before I get into my movie review, I bought two new magazines yesterday. I bought the Nylon with Tinashe on the cover. And it also has Banks, Issa Rae, Nick Valenci, Diane Wood, Amanda Steele, Emily Kinney, Tovlo, Dea, and it's titled Here for it. I'm excited. I've been reading Tanache's interview and she has a lot of important things to say. She brings up the fact that sometimes the industry can be more sexist than you actually think it is. Like it's a whole lot worse and talks about how, you know, it's hard to be successful because you sometimes doubt yourself and you think that since you're not getting the recognition that you know you deserve, what do people honestly think about you? So I think this is like one of the most beautiful pictures of her. I think she looks amazing. I like her song, um, Company, and I like her, um, other song out called Super Love. I really like those. I wasn't a fan of Two On. Two On just like, I mean, I'll listen to it in a club, but it's like not one of those songs that I would like bye bye. And I also bought this bookmark. I feel like that's a fun, cute, bookmark and at the top of it has this like cute little flower right there let me focus camera focus camera because my arms are fat and it's getting tired oh there it is there it is do i have to do like those beauty gurus and stick my hand behind it yeah and then that's what the Bookmark looks like. Yes, I broke two nails. If you have noticed, I broke two of my nails and I'm pretty pissed off about it. Um, the tip on my middle finger broke off and my thumb part broke off. And I think because I went to my like backup place because I couldn't come, I couldn't go to my main place because I was really busy that morning. So, um, I went to my backup place and I think she just laid the acrylic really thin. And that's why it's breaking off. And the second magazine I bought, it's been out for a while. The V Magazine with Troy Sivion and some model girl. I don't know who that is. But she ain't got no pants on, y'all. Ass just, just, just bare. Just bare ass. I haven't cracked this open yet. I've seen pictures online of what's inside of here. And I'm really excited. I love oversized, really huge like fashion books. I love it. I love it so much. And hopefully I'm in one one day. Like I would love to be in V. But I don't want nobody bare ass on top of me. I think I'm good on that front. So <clears throat> those are the things I bought at Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble is one of those stores where I love it so so much. Like I can literally buy anything in there. So not only did I go to Barnes and Noble and pick up some magazines, but I went to the movies and I saw Mrs. Pettigrew's Home for Peculiar Children. I think it was Pettigrew or Pettigrew. But anyway, if you've seen the previews, it's a Tim Burton film. And if you follow me on any of my social media, you know that I thought Tim Burton's comments about diversity in films were really fucking stupid. But I'm not going to dive into that. It just seemed like some bullshit response to a serious question, but okay. Um, the movie stars Samuel L. Jackson, that one lady from Penny Dreadful, God, what is her name? I forgot, but she's a bomb ass actress and she really acted her ass off in this one. She plays this lady who's like this headmistress to this school where it's a bunch of kids with different peculiarities where they can do things unlike 
normal, regular children. There's one girl who has to wear steel boots to keep on the ground because she can float and also she can push air out of things. That's that preview where you guys always see the girl blowing and there's water going everywhere. That one. There's these two twins that are in these like what well, looks like burlap sacks, but they're not brown. Burlap sacks of clothing and they never show their faces. And there's a little girl, if you've seen the preview with the mouth behind her head where she has to lift her hair up. Um, there's a kid who can make things come alive. There's a girl who can set things on fire. Um, there's a guy whose dress is, you know, really snazzy. He has a cool peculiarity and some other ones. I won't tell you them all so you can go see the movie and see them for yourself. Well, what happens in the movie is this guy, his grandfather has been telling him these stories of these people that they're real and they actually exist, but he grew up and he didn't really believe them until he took a trip to a place where his grandfather used to go and he finds out that, oh, no, these people actually exist and they're in danger because of Samuel L. Jackson's character and his homies want to fucking kill him and fuck him up. And I won't tell you what he's doing that's really, like, fucked up and why they're scared of this man. I'll save that for the movie. I'll try not to give too many spoilers up because I thought the movie was really cool. I thought it was cute. I thought it was entertaining. Had some funny moments in there, and I think it's something that everyone should go see. But, so, Samuel L. Jackson is the villain, and he has his group of friends. They trying to fuck these kids up. Then there's these, like, big monster-looking things, and then you learn about... Not only the kids' peculiarities and how they can help them, but you also learn that not everybody who has these, like, powers and these peculiarities are, like, visible or easy to explain, like our main character. His is something It's pretty mm, self-explanatory. I mean, the phrase would be, he can see the monsters. That's all I'm going to give you guys. And it's a really, really well thought out film. I love how the, all the kids have to band together to get certain shit done in this film. I thought the acting was great. I thought the, the graphics and the CGI was great. It's 10 out of 10 a recommendation. Um, one of my favorite parts in the movie is when all the kids have to band together to fight these monsters. And they think of like the simplest things, but it works. And what was funny about it was they're fighting these things in like a public place. So like regular people don't see what the fuck is going on and it was it was the funniest thing to watch so i think that's a movie that everybody should go see um it felt rather long i will say that it felt a little long judy dench is in it but like who doesn't love judy dench she could literally just pop her head out of something and i'm already i'm on board i'm on board but I hope you guys see, go see the movie, and um, other movies I want to see is The Magnificent Seven with Denzel Washington, and Ethan Hawke, and Chris Pratt, and a few other people. I really want to see that movie because I love me a good-ass western. But yeah, I think that's everything that I did for the weekend. The reason I didn't put a face mask on is because, child, after I edit and put up this video, I'm going to take me a nap. Okay, see you guys tomorrow for a Stoner Storytime Sunday. I can't wait to tell you all everything that I have coming up next week and how I'm super duper excited to see what's going to happen on RuPaul on Thursday. Seeing as that this last episode was a... Uh... That's all I'm going to say about that last episode of RuPaul, just... That's how it's going to make you feel. But don't worry, I took all the notes and I'm ready to review it on Wednesday. See you guys tomorrow and hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if no one's told you that you're awesome and that they love you, I think you're awesome. And I love you. And if you're wondering why I sound a little raspy, is this because I'm finally over my cold, but like everything else is taking its good old time to catch up. But see you guys tomorrow. Peace.